first morning in the blacktail stand here. Um, it is November 3rd, and I'm just pumped to be down here hunting blacktails again. Um, the lights are just turning on here, and I haven't seen or heard a deer yet. Uh, it's about 7.40 in the morning. Uh, pretty foggy this morning. I did get a couple bucks on camera last night. Um, but they were in the middle of the night at midnight and 1 a.m. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned here. Um, I'm going to be holding out for a good one this year. So, um, yeah, hopefully they get on their feet and start moving around. It was a uh, super slow morning here in the stand. Um, like I said, I did see a few bucks on camera in the middle of the night last night, so I'm gonna get down and uh, probably get back in here early afternoon. I think since I didn't see any movement this morning, there's a good chance these deer could be moving early afternoon, so time to keep at it.
All right, guys, it's uh, the morning of the 8th. Uh, definitely a colder morning today. And uh, I, I wasn't really seeing much for movement until about 20 minutes ago. So that three point you just saw, um, he's a nice younger buck. He was the one that was on a doe last night. Um, and then I actually had, a, there was another buck behind my stand here that him and him and that three point were kind of looking at each other squaring off, but the one behind the stand was actually a much bigger, older deer. Um, he wasn't quite what that one was last night, and uh, that's gonna be tough, man. I I think I made a mistake not shooting that deer last night. Um, I watched the camera footage of him, and he's a lot bigger than I thought. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it here, and I'm hopeful that I can turn that deer up again. Um, I think I'm gonna sit until about 1 or 2 p.m. today, and then I'm gonna put a couple cameras down in this draw um, that a bunch of the bucks keep walking down into. So, um, yeah, just gonna be a long day of sitting and seeing what we can turn up. So, uh, stand by here, but it's great to be out here. Um, they're definitely acting more ruddy by the day, so. Uh, they're coming in nicely to rattling too, which has uh, been really cool. So, time to stick with it. Let's see what happens.
as hard as that was, I just passed up a pretty nice 4x3. Um, he's a good buck, but he's actually the buck that got pushed down the hill by the big mature buck that I'm trying to shoot. So, I don't know, it's the second to last day, but I just, that 4x3 doesn't quite have the age. And he also looks like he could be a really good deer in the next couple of years, so... I got a couple of does feeding up the hill behind me, and uh, really the movement's just starting. It's been a slow morning, so I'm hoping uh, that big guy or maybe another big old buck will show itself here soon, so stand by. It's uh, 7.30 on the last morning. Um, not off to the greatest start. So I got in the stand early. And I could actually hear a buck um, grunting a little bit over here. It was hoping he was going to come out. Then I hear a gunshot on the property right behind me. So they got a pretty big field out there. And so a buck got shot with a rifle, uh, which... That's only about three, four hundred yards behind me, so not ideal um, in terms of commotion. Uh, I've seen one little spike coming by. Uh, so far, that's it. So, uh, peak movement yesterday was around 8, 8.30. So, trying to keep my um, hopes up that uh, the bucks start moving here soon. All right, guys. 
I just shot the big guy that I was after. Uh, I looked out my my back left here, out there with the binos, and I saw him working his way up the hill. So I did a little quick rattling session. He came right in, came right out front. Only had about a 20 yard shot, but I rushed it a little bit. Um, gosh, I, I can't believe that. Um, I hit him good height, perfect height, but I, I was just a hair back from where I wanted to be. He might have been a hair quartered away, which is going to help me. Um, so just fingers crossed. That's what I wanted. It's the last day of the season, and I passed up some nice bucks yesterday, hoping I'd get another chance at him. So, gosh, I hope I didn't blow it. I'm going to just double check some things a little bit. Uh, I'm going to give it at least a half hour or so before I go looking for him. So, all right, guys. So, um, there we saw in the video, uh, I shot the big buck I was after, but I hit him just a little bit back. So uh, I gave him a little grunt to stop him and I kind of rushed the shot a bit. Um, to me, it looked center body. Uh, and so I'm thinking maybe I center punched the liver. I don't think I was back any further than that. So I talked to a couple buddies and I'm gonna give this buck some time, so. I'm gonna work my way down and I'm gonna go way out and around and back to the house. Um, and I'm gonna look at the footage and then come back out in about three hours. Um, so, really hoping he's dead. Um, but I think that's the safest thing to do. It's a real cold morning, it's not raining. So, um, I think that's gonna be the way to go about it. So, stand by here. All right, guys, I'm headed back up the mountain now. So, um, it's been four hours since I hit that deer and I was able to come back, get the video on my phone um, so that I could zoom in and use a full screen. And it's definitely back as you saw, but I think the good news is that buck brought his back legs way forward, um, which I think makes the shot appear a little for farther back than it actually was. Um, I've talked with a couple different buddies and we're pretty sure it's a liver hit. Um, also, the fact that I found some good blood right there within about six feet of where he was hit, um, good sized patch, I think is a good sign that it wasn't just straight gut. So um, I'm hopeful that the exit was a little further forward. Um, also that he kind of brought those legs forward and compressed all those vitals closer to the middle of his body. Um, and hopefully I did the damage that it needed. So I was using that day six um, Evo, but I had the big bleeders, the three quarter inch bleeder blades. So kind of like a four blade broadhead going through them, um, which definitely can do some damage. So I have no, no doubt in my mind this deer is gonna die. Um, and I'm hoping he's laying up there dead now, but if not, I'm gonna be prepared to put in the work all day today. So it's about 11.15. Um, I shot him right around 7.30, so it's going to take me about a half an hour to hike back up in there. I'm going to start on the blood trail really slow um, with an arrow knocked, and um, I'm going to be ready. If he's sick in his bed, I may have to put another one in him. So um, I'm just going to be real slow and be ready to finish him off if needed. Otherwise, I'll probably we'll walk up on him dead. So stand by here and uh, wish me luck. Yes! There he is. Yes! Thank you. Oh, buddy. Woo. Oh, man. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, man. This is a... Oh, yes. B. 
big, heavy, gnarly buck. Oh, I am so stoked and so happy to find this guy, man. Um, gosh, just hard in the heat of the moment. You know, I made that little grunt to stop that buck and I just shot a split second too quick um, as he was taking a half step, step forward. But that arrow and broadhead setup just destroyed him. Um, he was stiff, he died quick. Uh, I did give him four hours just to be safe, but um, he's he was dead in the shade. He's in great shape. Um, just better safe than sorry, but just a gorgeous deer. Um, exactly the buck I wanted. Uh, just gnarly old bases. You can see how heavy he is in the bases. Cool stickers coming off. Heavy. Um, just old timber buck. Uh, ghost white face. Um, so stoked. And in terms of the shot, so the, it, he was quartered away a little bit, which helped me out. So that exit was about four inches further forward. Um, so here you can see the exit. Um, there it is. So see their um, exit is right on the last rib. Um, so I'm feeling in there, it's actually just the second rib back. So not quite last rib just in front of that perfect height on the exit and you can see the slice of that um fixed blade with a three quarter inch bleeder there so absolutely stoked um time to take care of him get him skinned get him hung and uh yeah have some congratulatory tenderloins so thanks for watching guys awesome hunt